welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part two so let's jump right into it now according to breakingtravelnews.com I've got seven fascinating man new, uh, brand new facts so let's fire away with number one new european leaders for wine ham hotels um have um basically hired new people um as a strategic plan to replace re regional resources closer to the business in the local markets and provide closer enhanced support to its hotel partners across the region so that's good news that they've hired new people to provide enhanced support um, to its hotel partners so its hotel partners will benefit not just um, Windham Hotels. Moving on to number two, Boeing predicts long-term resilience in commercial aviation market. Unfortunately, Boeing predicted demand for 18,350 commercial aeroplanes over the next decade, 11% lower than the comparable 2019 forecast at a value about €209 trillion. Euros. So, um, Again, I really hope Boeing will need to create more planes um, in the future um, and I hope more businesses and tour operators um, who are using planes um, do use them for the future. Um, number three, Waldorf Astoria. Dubai, Palm, Jemaya, or Jamira, excuse my pronunciation, adds family accommodation options. Wow, this is interesting. The unlimited in space and luxury. Wow. The, these interconnecting rooms and suites provide a generous amount of room. Um, and heaven in which the whole family can spread out at an affordable price so that's really good news and um, that the hotel is affordable and and can do that um, for an affordable price because a lot of hotels um, if you need more room then you usually are looking at um say, say um you need to be looking at four and five star hotels but again if um this hotel is probably say a three star and or equivalent just say and has lot of, well a range of facilities and for the whole family and you're able to spread out more easily as a family and um, because again i have been in many ho hotels and especially the hotel in Mar uh, malta we was like sardines in a can in that three-star hotel um you could actually pay extra and i think maybe mum and dad would have done to get one of the the better rooms um 
which wasn't all that much more but uh, literally the bathroom was larger than <laughs> it had a larger bathroom than what it did bedroom and with us all like sardines in a can um so yes and so um i have actually seen uh, the hotel on breakingtravelnews.com and it looks absolutely beautiful and fantastic and if it is affordable as well then again it might be worth looking into the hotel particularly if you have a family and you don't want to be spending large amounts of money so moving on and um, to number four is cruise news news as as mara unveils plans to return next spring so wow that's a lovely name for a ship as mara and again good luck to it next spring and i hope everybody um enjoys uh, going on as Mara cr uh, cruise uh, cruise um, next spring and in the future and I hope again it basically gets its custom back also Seabourne cruises postpone return until 2001 it's probably definitely safer at the minute um just in regards to covid19 um so i really hope seaborne gets back up and running and tourists tra travel with them next year Number six, Buenos Aires Marriott Hotel opens in Argentina this month. So the capital of Argentina, Buenos Aires, the Marriott Hotel um, is a brand new hotel, hotel to open and I wish Marriott Hotel range the best of luck and um, I hope it goes fantastic for RG, Argentina, um, which is a, a large country in South America. And obviously the Marriott chain in general. And number seven, St. Lucia, the Caribbean island woos its guests with a brand new ad campaign and the ad campaign i've watched it and it is absolutely amazing and again like everywhere else um i, I wish st lucia gets the tourism that it deserves in the future and um again i, I really hope like any other country or organization tour operator that um, customers will travel again in the future well obviously when it's again safe to do so with some countries but i hope it goes as well as possible so thank you for watching everybody please like and subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video which is going to be tomorrow and it's going to be the latest travel news part three so if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe it's the red and white subscribe button i upload at least three to five times a week um so on both my travel and lifestyle channel um i'm off work this week so um again i will 
be getting more done um, in regards to um, travel videos and uh, basically I'm able to hopefully make more improvements again this week uh, to my travel channel and my lifestyle channel so everybody please stay safe and please stay tuned and thank you for watching bye for now thank you bye